Hey, good morning. This is Friday, May 20th. That's when you're seeing this. But we recorded this a couple days earlier, as you know, because I got the, just the wonderful pleasure and honor of having my good friend Anya with us again on the violin. Anya, thank you so much. This is really, really special music that she is creating in the moment, which symbolizes, typifies what it means to have the word of Christ alive in us, not just a formula, not just a list, not just things we have learned by rote, but you're hearing music that is flowing through her right now, never been heard before. And that's what our life needs to be like, because we keep on running into situations that no one ever faced before, but God has us ready for them. He has us ready for them by having the word of Christ being alive in us. So you're not hearing wooden notes. You're not hearing something that's been prepared for. You're hearing something that is bringing life, even as we hear it. And that's why I so wanted to have Anya involved with this. Because this is what, this is what the word of God's doing. Colossians and Ephesians talk about the word of God making music in our hearts. This is what this symbolizes. I'm so thankful to Anja to give this such great power, such meaningful display. So again, heartfelt thanks to Anja for making this happen. This is the third video in this series of preparation for spiritual defense. And we're gonna have a lot more to say about this, but these three things are basic. We're gonna talk about having healthy heart habits that produce strong emotions that will protect. And then when we're in real life, daily situations, and the unplanned moments of life, when the things happen that we're not ready for, we have been prepared because we have nourished, because we have strengthened ourselves with the music of Christ being made alive in us. So the habits lead to healthy heart habits, lead to emotions, which are strong and would protect us and keep us being from being held captive from the things of this world. That's what Paul warns against. Don't let anybody take you captive. Take them captive. Just as this music captures us, may the word of Christ be alive, active, growing within us so that we can take captive the attacks of the evil one. And they will come. That's why spiritual self-defense is so crucial. It's not if the attacks come, it's when they come. They will be here, but God prepares us for them. Now we can begin to have desires that are not based upon fulfilling what my flesh wants, what somebody else wants, what the evil one wants but desires that begin to fulfill what God wants. Jesus said that he is eagerly desired to eat this last supper with his disciples. May we eagerly desire the things of God. David talks about delighting in God, having his music flowing in you, and he'll give you those desires of your heart. Not your laundry list of goodies, but the desire to know him and to have his word become strong within us. See, now we're making choices, having desires that are not toxic, not pulling us away from God, but drawing us to him. It's a beautiful soul. It's a powerful soul. As we said last time, let the word of God make music in your heart. I'm so grateful that we have this beautiful demonstration of that with Anya. These habits will produce daily emotions that will be constantly guarding us. So now we have a little bit of a picture of what Proverbs 4 is talking about. Above all else, guard your heart, 
You don't guard it with a bunch of rules and regulations. You don't guard it with a bunch of lists. You don't guard it with a bunch of things that you have memorized, even though they may have their place. You guard it with hearts that are thirsting, longing for God. By realizing that we're by God with these streams of words, where God is our shepherd, caring for us, we are in a secure place because we are cared for by the great shepherd. And there's nothing, nothing, can separate us from the love of Christ. So now we have a foundation for spiritual things, a spiritual defense that will protect us. And we're going to get into some of the particulars. But this is the foundation. These three videos give us the great foundation that we need to have hard habits that are strong, to build emotions that protect, and now result in a life full of desires that we can actually trust and delight in. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And that's what I want to end on, on this idea of trusting God. Thank you for being here. Check us out at Redoc 24 7 And again, my personal thoughts and gratitude to Anya. And as we turn off tonight, we know that we can trust God because He is alive in us. May you have a blessed evening, a blessed day, knowing God. So cool to have you with us. Lord willing, we'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.